In the month of September in the year 2022, I decided to travel to the enchanting land that exists between Europe and Asia, that once accommodated the largest city in the world, Constantinople, and has a history of giving birth to one of the most powerful empires we've ever seen. Welcome to Turkey. Hello everyone, this is Srishti. Welcome back to this channel or if you're new here, welcome to this channel. I hope you stay for longer. Today I am in Turkey. Actually, I'm going to be here for the next 28 days. I came here for a month. I already spent two, two days in Istanbul. Today I am in this beautiful town slash village called Safran Bolu in northern Turkey. I took a bus from Istanbul at 9 a.m. in the morning and I reached here at 5 p.m. So it was like, you know, half a day's ride. It was a very comfortable journey. Turkey's public transport is amazing and also cheap. So that's why I took a bus. It cost me some 330 Turkish Lira, which is about 18 US dollars. The views were breathtaking and the roads were flawless. It's just that had I been with a partner or my family, I would have just preferred to rent a car and drive down because the bus definitely takes longer than when you drive yourself. I had already booked myself a hotel on booking.com. Please note that booking.com is banned in Turkey, so you need to use a VPN to access it. It cost me 30 lira to reach my hotel from the bus station. Another thing that I want you to know before you come to Turkey is that if you don't know the local language, you will be relying heavily on Google Translate. It's the biggest gift Google has ever given to mankind, trust me. You take a seat in your room, you settle in your room and then you come back. Okay. 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 Yeah. The place where I'm staying is a kilometer away from the main tourist attraction of this town, which are its old Ottoman houses that cost a little more than my budget, but I'm really happy that I stayed here. The hosts are lovely, the food is great, and the place is neat and clean. That's all I wanted. I already feel so nice being here, not because it's like a place that I wanted to visit for such a long time, but also because it's not as noisy as Istanbul. And that's not Istanbul's problem, it's like, it's a full city, but it's not, cities are not really made for me, even though Istanbul has so much character, but I just love the countryside, the rural, peaceful areas so much more. I didn't do much that evening, I slept really early, and then I woke up feeling very fresh and nice the next morning. Look at that view. <laughs> now I'll go get ready, take a shower and indulge in some morning skincare. I have been using the Dermaco's 1% salicylic acid gel cleanser for the last few weeks. It helps with my acne and the packaging is very travel friendly. That's why it's come along with me on this trip. Then I use a nice light toner and proceed to the most important step, the sunscreen. This is Dermaco's 1% hyaluronic acid sunscreen aqua gel with an SPF 50. It's super lightweight, leaves no white cast and dissolves like water. I like how it also has vitamin E, which my skin likes a lot. Then the final step is a good face serum. I love this 2% salicylic acid face serum as it unclogs my pores, gets rid of dead skin cells and allows my skin to remain clear. I use it both in the day and at night. I also wanted to mention how every single time you buy something from the Derma Co, a part of those proceeds actually help with a child's education. They have a beautiful initiative called the Young Scientist through which they have pledged to take care of 10,000 children a year. So yes, you can use my code SRISHTI2022 to avail a 20% off on their website and check out their products if you want. Okay, now I'll get dressed, get some breakfast and also introduce you to my host. Tashikur. Tashakur here means thank you. So there's a boiled egg here. This is a hazelnut spread. This is butter. This is cheese, honey, jam, olives, cucumber, tomato. I don't know what this is. And this is cottage cheese or paneer. 
Mm. No, this is not cottage cheese. No, it is cottage cheese. Mm. It is cottage cheese. Oh, and then there's bread. It's like a small charcuterie platter, but Turkish style. Oh, this bread is so good. Mm. If you're fond of cats, this is the country for you. You are going to find cats everywhere you go. And the people here are so kind to them. They feed them every single day. And it's just amazing to watch it. Hi. Hi. Where I'm staying right now in a hotel, it's literally bang in the center of Safran Bolu. And if you walk a little ahead from here, you will get to see a market, you will get to see a mosque, you will get to see a lot of people just hanging out, smoking together, and a lot of souvenir shops. But if you walk a little ahead out of this area, you are going to see these beautifully preserved Ottoman houses. Safran Bolu is majorly divided between three sections. One is this old town that I just showed you. One is the new town, which is the market area. And the third section is an entire area dedicated to just vineyards. This place is also really famous for growing its beautiful juicy grapes and its wine. I'm not sure if I will be able to go to a vineyard, but the grapes that I had for breakfast today Mamma mia! I arrived here in Safran Bolu last evening and as I was walking past these shops, I made a friend. Let me check if she's here. She was, we were supposed to meet in the morning for chai, but I woke up late. Let me see if she's here. Hi! Hello! Hello, hey. Yuna. Wait, I'm just going to open Google Translate Hello. and apologize to her. One second. I am so sorry I couldn't come for tea in the morning. I woke up late. We waited a long time for you in the morning. I'm really, really, really sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Semla here owns a tobacco shop here. She has shisha, um, cigarettes, lighters, tobacco, and a few trinkets here and there. And she is a local of Safran Walu. <laughs> Do you stay with your family? Your two kids, your wife, your husband. Your two kids, your wife and you. Husband. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what this area looks like. Lots of shops and stalls and hello. Hindistan. <laughs> India here is Hindistan. Look at these cobbled streets. Look how cute is this hotel. Oh. It's like a little farmer's market. Oh my god. Money, money. Mania. Ah. Mania. Ah. 
Hallo. Alte Bitte Bitte my dream to drive one of these cars. Hallo. This is a hotel reception. So I don't think I told you the old town is constructed in a way that houses are made of wood whereas the new town which is this area the houses and hotels are constructed with stone. And you can instantly feel it's so hot hot outside but the minute you step in you actually feel like you've entered a place where there's like AC going on somewhere but actually it's just the coolness from the stone. Right now I'm at this beautiful structure which is I'm at the end of the road and this is the Culture and Tourism Ministry, Karabukh Regional Board Directorate of the Protection of Cultural Assets. And I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I can just see if there's someone who speaks English here. Hello. I was just walking around. Hello. Hi. So this is the Ministry of Cultural Development in uh, Safran Bolu. I think I really freaked everybody out when I when I came in with a the camera. They didn't know what I wanted, but just look at the view that they get to work to. All those old houses are beautifully lined up in front of their workstation. We use Google Translate again, and they're taking me to the garden now. I sat with them for quite some time and we chatted away oh. about our lives. Okay. Yeah. I just had tea with someone. I'll have the baklava, not the tea, please. Az önce David'e sahip olacağım. Biri kitap aşığı olacak. Televizyon değil, lütfen. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Nothing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> They got me some cookies and baklava and tea and I'm not saying no to anything. It's okay. <laughs> they didn't want to be recorded so I wouldn't be able to show you our conversations but one of them was a topographical engineer, the other an architect and the third one worked in the technical assistant department. Two of them were going to get married soon. I wish them luck and went on with my day. Okay, you reached their home. Thank you. Bye. Bye. This is a coffee. <laughs> Hello. This is a coffee place right outside my hotel. And I want to see what it looks like. Ooh. How cute is this entrance? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> this is such a romantic little restaurant. Like you could just sit here for hours and do nothing. This view is everything. I have seen these houses from afar all morning. Now I am going to walk down and check them out from a little closer. <laughs> Dunya Mira Shehri 1994 UNESCO World Heritage City 
I can't believe I'm getting to walk in a town that has hosted many civilizations including the Roman, Byzantine, Seljuk and Ottoman empires throughout its history. During the Ottoman era, the town served as an important trading center known for its saffron and grapes. These houses are a glimpse into the rich history of Safran Bolu's past and Turkish art, which is why it's also a UNESCO World Heritage site. This is such a silent area as if there's absolutely no life around. It's only the wind and the rustling of the leaves and these old houses. It's quite eerie, but I know that there are people around. It's just that it's so quiet. I'm sure you can also not hear anything in the background. There are so many cats sitting in one place. I hope they don't run away. So many. Hi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There are sixteen cats just chilling. I think they're waiting for food. I think somebody comes and feeds them. They're waiting at the door. The old town preserves many historic buildings with 1,008 registered historical artifacts. These are one private museum, 25 mosques, five tombs, eight historical fountains, five Turkish baths, and three caravanserais, one historical clock tower, one sundial, and hundreds of houses and mansions. Eventually, somebody in the area realized that there needs to be a space for visitors when they come to see their beautiful town. And that's when the evolution of tourism started in this area. I don't have food, sweetie. I don't have food. There's this one whole lane that is probably the most touristy of all. There are all sorts of homestays and cafes and restaurants and hotels in this area. And all of them are so beautifully kept. They've really, like, they are so spacious. Like, look at this one. There's like a huge garden. And they've really done such a good job with the building. Guys, look, this house was established in the 14th century in 1320. Oh my God. And look at this other hotel right in front of this one. Okay, but what is that? Okay guys, I am finally in the most lively area of this entire town. This is also called the old bazaar or I'm gonna write that name down okay there is this beautiful mosque a statue that is dedicated to the flower of saffron or saffron itself and a hammam there are halwa shops and lokum delight shops lokum is the Turkish delight um, meat out there like it's it's sweet I'll show it to you So the hammam sections for men and women are different. Uh, a massage, bath, um, peeling and a couple of other things are only for 190 lira. That's like 800 Indian rupees. That's very, very decent. The Eshki Charshi is a quaint little bazaar where you'll spot some of the most beautiful local produce 
like wooden items and souvenirs, soaps of all kinds, vendors selling all sorts of things like jewelry. Hello, Merhaba. <laughs> So he has chocolate, vanilla, something and saffron. One saffron, yeah. Cornet. Corn, yeah. Is he making Oh. 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 Very refreshing. I am actually supposed to check out tomorrow, but I've really, really fallen in love with Safran Bolo, and I think I want to stay another day. Maybe go to the hammam and get a nice massage. Just walk around these streets a little more. Eat amazing food. Speak to the people. The people here will make your experience 20 times better than anywhere else. I've never seen such friendly people anywhere. I mean, I know I have to go to a lot of other places, but this is a beautiful vibe. And this place is just stunning. It's even better when the sun is not out. Like, I'm loving it right now in the evening, but in the daytime, because it was so sunny, <sighs> very hot. And just imagine, there are just like grapes growing off of vines so randomly everywhere, throughout this town. Just grapes, grapes are growing. <laughs> See? <laughs> it's not just one lane, it's quite a few lanes. And there's another beautiful mosque here. Guys, the architecture here is just amazing. Like at least I have never seen anything like this. If you go to Greece one day or end up in Turkey or Cyprus, you will see that the architecture is somewhat similar because the entire place was ruled by, um, was under the Ottoman Empire. So there is significant, uh, there are significant similarities. But this is just amazing. I love this vibe. It's time for me to get something to eat. Oh, or peas. These are Safran Bolu's local foods. Okay, let's yes. give them a try. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll go upstairs. Guys, I'm gonna have amazing food to an amazing view. I like how this day has been so far. Oh, look at this mosque. <laughs> okay, this is my big plate of local food. I'll just introduce you. This is Yayam, this is Perohi, this is Dolma, this is uh, cream beans called Fasulier, and this is some cheese. Mm, yum, yum, yum. You have to know how beyond impressed I am with everything in Safran Bulu. And it's not like I've not been to any other places. It's just the people, the food, the architecture, the kindness, the culture. It's beyond anything. This plate is life giving. Okay, now this is the final goodbye. All my devices are <laughs> out of battery. I have been out the whole day. It's 8 o'clock at night over here. And now I'm walking back to my hotel, which is on the other side of the town. Not this area, but in the newer town. I'm going to see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching this. I love you guys. Mwah.